Hey guys, Sanctified's checking in, and today we're going to be starting episode 2 of the Batman Telltale series. So far, I have been in love with the story, been in love with the game. It's been a blast. I'm really excited to see how this one goes on. Um, I really can't think of anything that's disappointed me so far with the game, like, at all. Uh, I think it's just, it's done incredibly well. So let's just jump straight on in. Uh, where we left off was that we found out that Bruce's parents actually did have ties with the Falcones. And that Bruce's money may be pretty dirty, actually. So that's where we left off. Uh, we also have met Selena Kyle face to face. She knows I'm Batman. I know she's Catwoman. So um, I'm actually surprised that they went ahead and let her find out who he is so easily. So all it took was a little scratch on his face and a black eye on hers. So let's go ahead and get right on into episode two. If I remember correctly, it's pretty action-packed where it left off. Oh, hey, look, I didn't even have to do a recap of my own. Y'all get it. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. <laughs> I don't remember Carmen saying that. Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Are they going to show my decision to shake his hand? Your father no. knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did soccer pretty hard. Bye, bye. This is Selena. That was a really fun scene to play. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. Oh yeah, Falcone was set up apparently. The chemicals. Where Forgot are about they? that. We're all being played in, couldn't you? Pretty sure it's Penguin that's got him. Ah, it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Look at Alfred just standing there. I was so pissed when I saw that. It actually got a really good emotional response from me. This really makes me want to play the game again and make different decisions just to see how far it does go in the way that I decide. I think that's a really interesting aspect. So far it's done pretty well. Am I going to get some answers from a... Uh... Oh, some frame drops there. Am I going to get answers from Alfred? I was kind of demanding him. Why are you standing out in the rain? You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Aw. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. I'm pretty pissed, so... How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? You were a child! I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But Aww. you're hardly the norm. I'm loving this conversation. This is so great. You'll grease the wheels of politics, 
Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Aww. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Of course I can. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Okay, audio came Thank through you. only my I left let you head down bang. again. <laughs> this game has some weird engine bugs. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. I didn't mean you to hit that button. said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I shouldn't I have hit that one. Every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Okay, so I was accidentally looking at text um, and listening to things. I did not mean to hit. He got careless. Um, I would have liked to have picked a better one, but I looked up with literally seconds to go. I'm I mean, I'm standing here right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? Probably. The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Okay, anything else I can look at? Let's talk to Alfred. No, let's take a look at graffiti. Yeah, let's take a look at the graffiti. just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. You know, it's not canon that the Waynes were gangsters like that, but... I don't mind it. It does offer a pretty neat narrative to have to experience because it, it, you don't really get to see this uh, Bruce having to deal with these kind of emotions. I like it. I like Think it a lot. back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. There must be some detail that escaped you. Try to remember, Bruce. Okay, I don't think he's going to say anything different. Is there something way far over here that I can go check out? Something way over here? Anything over here? Nope, 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 nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, got pretty limited walking area. Alright, let's do our little weird shimmy, 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 shimmy. guess the last thing to take a look at is the theater. A 
I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. Zorro. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. Aww. That's I so never nice. Knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Ignorance is bliss. But you're going to have to remember this stuff. Where am I moving to? Ah. Stay back. Take whatever you want. Nothing personal. Just business. He told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. Oh god, he saw him shot in the head? Oh fuck, in the eye? Holy damn! Joe, that's cold as fuck. That's cold as fuck. There's the pearls. They're always snapped. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. Well and done. Carmine Falcone knows why. Huh. All right, so we get that new piece of information. Falcone had them killed. Why? They were probably trying to go legit, probably trying to back out maybe. I don't really know. Speculating why he would have them killed. And that's a really neat background. Yeah, how is Bruce going to get into jail to talk to Falcone? Breaking this Batman? Nope, nope. Coming in with Harvey, I guess. <clears throat> Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. He's better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. Trust me, you don't want to know. No, no, I do. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arby. It's better this way. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Now, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. <laughs> Is that a fact? Uh-oh, Harvey's it's a little mad. the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better uh, not get off again. Is this Ramirez? He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Renee, that's Not it. this time. Mr. Wayne, 
Sergeant Rene Montoya. Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. But she was an informant. She was one of the crooked ones under uh, We're Gordon. keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Good. Glad there wasn't done sarcasm. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. It is a little shady, though, it seems. I'm surprised uh, anyone would agree to this. Episode 2. Oh shit, I like the sound of that. You're on breathing assistance. Good, you fucking prick. There's a needle there. Am I gonna stab him with it? Children of Arkham. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be Penguin. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. Speaking of... Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Getting pretty torn. What I want to do to him? It's the only option I have. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Someone's gonna come in, aren't they? And see me fucking choking the guy. You'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? I am no murderer, Falcone. Unlike you. <sighs> yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. And if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still. Made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. And who the fuck so did? who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh shit! They're waiting for you in hell! What is wrong with you, Montoya? You got some crazy ass veins on your face. The bastard had to die. I knew it! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Whoa! Holy shit! 
Damn. This story's getting good. She had some of that neurotoxin in her, though. We are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Mm. Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... Oh, I'm left Tell alone. Tell me if she says anything. I'm gonna get some answers. I have to know why she did this. Batman style, meaning I don't have to skirt around being a nice guy who plays a little dumb. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! What if Alfred's I'm like the into main it, need boss? Access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Yeah. So, what is that? Fresh she was injected. Inside. That doesn't look like blood. And then her mouth, where there's this crazy veins. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. And then her eyes, I guess? Pupils? Where else am I going to need a look? Alfred, oh. I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. I like how I swipe. I literally swipe for him. That's my interaction. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone, I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. Oh. No guilt. No consequence. Interesting. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about yep. revolution. There it is. Penguin. Old Ozzy. God said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. 
A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. It now, is for if me. You're bringing forensics in. Let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Mm. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Huh. Disappointed. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, did I not do the right one there? Shit. Okay. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. I Actually, we're going to go ahead and stop here because this is probably going to lead on to a whole other set of investigation parts and stuff. And it really sucks that I didn't give Vicky the right uh, voice line to use because now she is going to print that. <sighs> She's going to say something that had something to do with it. I don't care. It's Vicky Vale. Whatever she thinks, I don't really care. She'll probably be popping up in a lot of these, though, so hopefully next time I can grease the wheels a little better than last time. Um, now, I'm really interested in where this is going. Cobblepot did that. I don't know what the neurotoxin exactly does. It makes people very suggestive, I guess. So, but it's pretty interesting. Falcone was just fucking flat out dead. I mean, good. Fuck him. Um, still going to have to battle with the whole Bruce's name being tarnished and all that so i'm really excited to see where this goes i want to keep playing though but i'm gonna go ahead and stop here for the video today i'm gonna go ahead and get the next video out tomorrow and i hope you all enjoyed this story's cooking up uh i like how a lot of the batman stories seem to be like you don't have time to do what you really need to so you know time's against you so uh so tune in next time and we'll see where the story's going see what we can go ahead and investigate and i hope we are going to have some kind of uh interaction with Cobblepot soon to get some answers, be it in the bat suit or the normal suit. So, tune in for the next episode, Sanctus Fides, signing out.